first off, there is nothing wrong with this lift. That is what that platform and those weights are made for. I get it. But at the same time, there is also nothing wrong with people reacting to the loud noise of those weights being slammed down, especially when they're only a few feet away. They don't give you a dirty look. They don't say anything. They simply react and look over as anybody would. But I'll tell you what is wrong. Intentionally doing this so you can pan over to film people to get their reactions. Don't zoom in on people and make them the subject of your video without their consent. People in the gym are not accessories for you to use just to get likes and attention on social media. So EOS Fitness, I hope you see this. I hope you remove this young man from your gym. Your members don't deserve this. And to this young man, I hope you learn to respect people. You need to do better. Mind your own business. That's all I want to know. You're looking like a joke. Try humor at the most. Steady choking on your shade like a dick in your throat. Well, if you're going to throw shade my way, maybe you should throw with a little more aim. It's a cold day in hell when they dirty up your name. They don't got no business talking in the first place. I'm freezing. So, welcome back. Yo, we got called out by Joey Swole over the weekend. I'm sure people kind of want to know what I'm thinking about it. Before we get into that, I need to run sprouts, get some more eggs, and sourdough for breakfast. I just hit a, I just hit a little open gym, fuck, I cannot talk, with some skiing and some handstand push-ups. I gotta get better at wall-facing handstand push-ups for the comp in January. Yes, I'm doing a comp. I do have bread and one egg left, but I've just been a whore for sourdough. I just, I've been loving me some sourdough and butter. Fucking sourdough, baby. They didn't have this black one. That was so good last time. So this, this better to be fire. It's been almost a week since I've been in spots. They haven't restocked their sourdough. Sounds like a supply chain issue to me. I got these eggs. Normally, I just get a 60 count from Walmart, but motherfucker, last week we were there and we just needed a few things. We didn't need a whole lot because we had a lot of Thanksgiving leftovers. So we just got that, I ran out. I was planning on getting a 60 count, but like, I was already gonna get sourdough. And honestly, I hate to say it, those tasted a lot better than white eggs that are like mass produced. It's so expensive, but it's better. Like, it's kind of fucked up. Like, I spent $20 on three items. Well, no, no. I got this, I saw this, I didn't want to wait on my caffeine intake. So we're gonna try it. I don't know why. I got an urge to shotgun it. Yeah, honestly guys, hear me out. I teased my girlfriend when she talks about like what she wants to do on Sunday morning. She's like, oh, it'd be so fun to like wake up, get coffee, make breakfast, go to the farmer's market, go grocery shopping, hit up a little farm to table pipeline. And I'm like, yeah, that sounds like nice, but you know, I could think of things that seem more exciting that hit the, hit the dopamine center a little more. Like going and picking same game parlays for every team on Sunday morning, waking up and playing some search and destroy, but but I gotta give it to her. Right now I'm having a great day. And I and I rolled up to Sprouts and I just felt like I was in a good mood. Sprouts reminds me, you know, in like those stereotypical white women, they like have their coffee and they're like, mmm, mmm. That's how I felt. And that's how I feel right now with this. Elf does it too. Will Ferrell does it in Elf. He, he has his coffee, he's like, Mmm, I don't know if that makes sense. Yes, we'll get to the Joey Swole stuff. Let me get home and eat. Fuck it, I'm shocked getting this. I don't know why. I have to keep the good day going. Friend of you guys that need to know how to shotgun energy drinks or any sort of beverage or a beer if you're over the age of 21, you want to know how your pool is going to be. You have to be ready so you want your hole here and you have to think about your optimal pool. Like, right? People are left-handed. Some people 
this is it's, it's, it's preference. You're gonna have to get a few trial and errors in. I used to use my tooth. That's bad for your teeth. Now we tilt, okay? We take a key and we're just gonna, I don't know if you can see this. Let me adjust it a little. Oh, it's fucking bright out. We're just gonna, you, you have to commit. You know how you commit to the pour? You gotta commit to the stabbing, but you're not stabbing. You're kind of just, kind of just taking it, right? You're just kind of, oh fuck. Kind of just gonna take your thumb and wedge it in there. But you have to tilt it up because then there's a little air bubble right there. You gotta double check, okay? Look at that. No mess, nothing. I like to go about yay big hole about a one by one inch or three quarters inch. And then you kind of got to get your fingernail under, get that ready, prime to pop. Then you just go for it. I would say, don't think about it. You just have to, you just got to commit to it. We're back, baby. Okay. All right. Not for the part a lot of you are probably waiting for. I'm gonna say a few things and then we're moving on and what happened, happened. It doesn't really need to be a bigger deal than it is because I think personally, internet beef is kind of cringy, unnecessary, and does nothing productive at all. I also do realize a lot of the kids and high school athletes and strength conditioning kids, I help train, I help coach. A lot of them watch my channel. I feel like I do, in a way, have a responsibility to set the right example on what to do. So basically what happened, I got called out by Joey Swole, AKA the king of gym positivity. So he has a huge following. He has like 3.3 million followers. The result of him calling me out over the weekend was getting hundreds and hundreds of hate comments on my whole Instagram the whole weekend. What I think about it is I know what I'm doing when I go in there is attention sinking. It's just obviously people have never seen my stuff. That's literally like the point of the video. Like I know the act of me lifting in there is obnoxious. I think that's part of what makes up the irony and humor of it. We act like douches in the beginning. So people are like, what the fuck? We actually go into the gym and do nothing at all but lift and everyone looks at us. And it's not really like, it is showing off, it is. And that's always something I felt cringy about and like is why I don't wanna just pump out like 800 commercial gym videos for the sake of the algorithm. The fact of the matter is we literally just go in there and lift. We don't do anything extra. And that in itself is just more of like getting reactions, people reacting to it because it's kind of funny. Like it's, it's funny to see someone who's never seen that see me lift and they're just like, what the fuck is going on? Like it's so loud, like what is this idiot doing? That exposure, I think, is just, it's part of the irony, part of the humor of the video. And they thought I was like either making fun of the people or complaining that I was watching it. People were even arguing about my flannel that I was wearing. People just love to argue to argue. I just knew people were judging me based off a zero context reel I posted. So like, I know my intentions with making those videos. I know it's literally just for entertainment and it's honestly pretty harmless entertainment at that. I'm not making fun of anyone. I'm not putting anybody down. I've never been one that wants to punch down on someone. The main thing I wanna say though, is how just hypocritical the whole situation is and how honestly cringe the, the gym positivity movement is. He's calling people out, yeah, whatever, for acting irrationally in the gym, cool, whatever. But the result of his ginormous following results in people going and spreading probably a thousand times the amount of negativity. And then you have all these people, thousands and thousands of people coming in a comment, coming to hate on this person, dissecting their entire life. Like, and these aren't like teenagers. These are grown ass adults that hung out on my Instagram all weekend and argued in the comments. They even tagged the gyms I'm associated with. They even tagged Barbell Apparel. They even tagged my girlfriend in one of them asking like, hey, is this what you really associate with? Like, it, it was mind boggling. It was ridiculous and it was actually comical. I was just more mind blown at the fact that people became so invested in this and treating it like, okay, treating it like it's the worst thing in the world. There's much bigger problems in the world to be focusing on. But at the end of the day, it only helped me. Like that's, that's all I gotta say. Like it only helped drive more people and more engagement and interaction to the channel and my Instagram page, which honestly is a good thing because I hate fucking posting on Instagram. So it helped out my Instagram. Now, if I wanted to do YouTube, I kind of gotta be good at Instagram too, which 
double-edged sword. I also did end up throwing some of the DMs I got on my on my story. I debated whether or not I should, but I did. The actual hate itself did not bother me. The only thing that bothered me a little bit, the fact that so many people were that invested and that actually upset about it. Like that's the only thing that bothered me. I was I the, I was just thinking like, what the fuck is wrong with society? Like, holy shit. Actually, no, one comment got to me. One, one comment did get to me. It said something about me not being able to rank at nationals. It said like, still can't rank at nationals. Yeah, that one got to me. So if you're the one that made that comment, congrats poked me a little bit. Yeah, cause that, that, one, that one's a sensitive subject. So I was really going back and forth whether I should post those on my story. And I, I ended up deciding to do it and tagging Joey Swole just cause it was funny and I thought it was very hypocritical. And I just kind of wanted people to see like how ironic the whole situation was that this movement's supposed to be positive yet it's spreading like complete hate around everywhere. He ended up responding to me and saying like, this is not okay. If you give me their names, I will personally DM them and ask them to apologize to you. And it's like, dude, like you're missing the point, man. Like, yeah, I don't, it's fine. Like, it's really, this situation's not that deep. I'm just showing how hypocritical like the movement is. And he just kept saying like, it's not okay to film people in gyms. Dude, I'm, I feel like I'm, like he has no idea what he's doing and he's, He's probably in his mid thirties. I at least have a little bit of a slide, even if I did fuck up. I have a little bit of a pass to fuck up because I'm only 22 years old. I'm not saying it's, I'm just gonna go out and purposely fuck up, but like I'm learning a lot still. All of us are in our twenties. This man's 35 and I feel like he's not comprehending what I'm saying. Like is he, I don't know if he's just like lacking in maturity or what, but it's just like, it's, it was just so dramatic. Everything about everything was so dramatic. I did end up leaving the people's names out of the stories I posted just because I didn't want any other people to go and DM those people and then just continue the whole fucking cycle of fighting. Like, not that I think anybody that watches my channel would. Like, I, I, I'd like to believe that people that watch the channel are really into that type of shit because I, I don't want to push that type of energy out. I really just want to give people something to laugh at, something to enjoy for 15 minutes of the day. Like, it's nothing crazier than that. I'd like to think people that watch are good people, they have good morals and they're just not dicks to people and they get after it. Like, that's all I'm gonna say on it. Like any situation, there's something to learn. So, I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Nothing changes. And um, we got a little bit of stuff planned later today. Obi's gonna meet me after I teach a class at the gym and we're gonna film some lifting, so it should be good. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Go for it, uh, I'm all open. But um, as far as like starting internet beef or just trolling more, I, w I was tempted. I was so tempted to troll more, but I didn't. I took... Um, uh, we're here with OB. He's drinking a NoCo at 6.30 p.m., which is <laughs> approved. We kind of missed the window. I was actually gonna enter the Rogue Challenge, the Birdie Challenge. It's one snatch, overhead squat, right into a snatch from above knee, then another overhead squat. I'm gonna go for 275 today. Um, I am gonna cheat a little bit. My hands ripped. I'm getting ready for a CrossFit comp and I was practicing my muscle ups and I have baby hands now, but. Oh yeah, before I forget, Barbell's Black Friday sale still going on. Any pants, chinos, jeans, Athletic Fit 2.0 pants are 119. And then other stuff on their site is up to 50% off. I think these shorts are right now. These are my favorite pair, color. These are XL. Make your legs look big, actually. Quick. Look slow. Slow, baby. It's fucking back. Yeah, I, take I, your shirt off. I might go to a competition you should. next year and just yeah. for fun. You, know you what should I mean? train harder now. But it's like for fun though, so it's actually fun. Like I'll, it'll be training for something different. Like I'll train hard, but like it'll be, I don't know. Yeah, never mind, don't listen to me. <laughs> Here, finish this shit off. Pussy, no. down the hatch. Let's do it Spotify, 
forgot the other overhead squat. God damn it. Some advice don't be a pussy this one's for you joey swole let's go quick stay back on your hang snatch oh yeah yep good shit huh we're being a bitch Open again. Yes, sir. Ooh. Damn it, dude! That hurts so bad bringing it down. Can you tape your hands? It's not gonna make a difference. I'm about to beat the shit out of you. Honestly, fuck the challenge. We're just gonna have a snap. No. Fuck you, dude. Go. Oh. One second. One second. One second. Cut. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You think Harrison complains about that shit? Yeah. Think Hampton complains? No, absolutely not. No, he doesn't. He rubs shit in it. So he doesn't give a fuck. Cuts it open even bigger. He spits in it. Okay, what are you doing? <laughs> Yo! Are you just snatching now? Yeah. <laughs> Nate's feelings were hurt, now he's going beast mode. Ah! Yeah! All right. All right. Go, David. Went over there. Yeah. What's that? that? Sounds good. I gotta do another one. Add 10 more pounds, pussy. Add the reds right there. Fuck no. Why? You could do that? Easy. I fucked you. This will be my heaviest snatch in a year. Let's go! It's because you said no before you went for it. I know. Not a bad day. That was not bad. Oh, That's man. the heaviest you snatched in a long ass time. Yeah. What I really need to do, if I like, I bet I could get to my old numbers if I train twice a week. Cause like right now, every time I lift, I fucking max out and it's like not good at all. <laughs> What's your max snatch ever? 308. You getting a pump? Sure. All right, let's get a pump. What do you want to hit? Back and by. Back and by. Fuck, that's what's actually the most sore on me, but let's go. I'm a, I'm a crossfitter now, I, I have to do just everything. <laughs> yeah, you need a bigger back, bro. Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we're, we're looking for ideas to do and drop down all the ideas you have. We'll read them. We're down to do stuff. We're down to make fun shit this upcoming year. Or, But yeah, in the near future, we're just going to keep stuff up, do whatever we want. So we'll get some CrossFit vlogs, we'll get some more lifting vlogs, and we'll get some bigger videos out there that require like a lot more planning and stuff. And then, yeah, at the end of the day, worry about yourself. Don't be like the swole army. Just don't be weird. Shit's not that big of a deal. If you... Ugh. 
If you think you're better than someone because you can lift more than them, please reevaluate yourself. I'm tired of that vibe. That's why one of the big reasons I stopped lifting. So cringe. The whole I'm not even gonna get into it. But see you next time. Call him a, call him a steroid using bald headed bitch. Who? Joey for the outro.